you really want okay, so I've already made a video of the Mafia race level, but I'm going to try it out with the steering wheel, because I found out that it's pretty fun. Um, in fact, using the steering wheel let me, you know, allowed me to shave a couple of seconds off my lap record. But then I looked up on YouTube and saw a guy who's much, much faster than me, so I don't feel so fantastic anymore about my improvement. So instead of trying to set records, what I thought I might do is let the rest of the field overtake me and then still try and win the race. That might be a nice personal challenge, so... It's, um... It does make it more fun. I don't know if the wheel is an actual advantage to playing or not. Let's just let, like I said, let the rest of the field overtake me, I think. Are they doing it? I can't really tell. I can look at the map. Jeez, oh, they're making it really difficult. Okay. Let's give it a go. Get the wheel plugged in, using the pedals. I'm even using the stick as a gear shift, although it doesn't really work in the same way that a real one does. But that doesn't matter, I'm just using it anyway for affectation. So here's my challenge, guys. Start from the back. Win the Mafia race. Oh, bit of bit of collision over there. <laughs> Two guys running into each other. This is the way racing was meant to be. I mean, I've been, you know, reading about this level and people's reactions to it. Oh! And they're all sort of, oh, what the hell, this sucks. And it's like, I understand that it's a bit of an odd choice to have a... Uh, really difficult race level in the middle of what, what is basically your basic sort of narrative sandboxy shoot em up game. But, I don't know man. Bold choice, but I'm, I'm glad they did it. I think it's really cool. But anyway, enough yapping, now I'm going to try and catch the fucking rest of the field. Let's give this a go. Arriba! I love all these fake sponsors they have too. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> oh. Nice recovery. <laughs> Come on, downshift, you fucking thing. Right, this is my least favourite corner of the map. Just the rock wall on the right side can, creeps up on you very quickly if you're going in a particular clip. And, um, particularly fast clip, I meant to say. And the banking here, I've not really mastered yet. Like I said, I watched a guy who has, like, the record lap time. And, uh, I try and do what he does, but it just doesn't pay off, so... Clearly there's a, a method to the madness. I haven't quite caught up on it. So as first laps go, that was pretty atrocious, but you know, I was trying to let the rest of the enemies win, so... Okay. And also, I don't know if these pedals and the wheel work as well as like... Okay, you turn the wheel a little, and it should turn the car a little, that kind of thing. I don't quite know if it works that way or not, because um... Sometimes it feels like it's just there's nothing and then all of a sudden it's turning heaps, so, uh, you know. But I mean, this game wasn't exactly designed to work with the steering wheel, because it's from 2002, and I don't know when this thing was invented, the, the thing that I'm using. It's a Logitech G27. Um, here we go. Trying to catch my teammate here. Uh, you know, it's kind of upsetting too, because this is like the only race in any game that I can win. Oh! <laughs> I'm still going! <laughs> Curb there. Yeah, in spite of all the time and effort I put into racing games, I'm still not very good at any of them. Um, I've had a few months where I haven't been really able to practice either, so that doesn't help. So you can catch this guy in the red car. Position, second. Oh, so he's in the lead, so I basically I've made up most of my deficit in uh, the space of a couple of laps. Not bad. Alright, now we have nice open field ahead of us, we can try and set some records. Whoa! I mean, there's even a, uh, going back to realism, there's actually a clutch control in Mafia. And I've, I've mapped that to the clutch panel, but it doesn't really seem to do anything, so I don't use it. Just uh, makes me feel more like a man if I stomp on it every now and then, but it doesn't really have any impact on the changes of gears or whatever. So, let's come barreling through this bank section here, guys. Up onto the uphill stretch. Oh. I really do love this fucking racetrack. I think it's classic. I don't know what it's based on. It's probably probably based on a few old classic tracks, but oh. come, come, come tearing down here. Yeah, no, I'd like to study that, guys perfect lap. I think he gets like a 119 or something. I'd like to study that a bit. Oh, get better! Oh, but today won't be that day! 
Shift. Come on, shift down, you fucking piece of shit. Okay, we'll get on the next lap. Next lap will be unprecedented. Let's just romp it in. Rip up the racetrack. That's basically my motto. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be the one, guys. A lot of speed. We're gonna need it. There we go. Wave to my fans. That's my that's my gaming trope. I always wave to my fans when I'm driving. I mean, you could do a compilation video. You know, I really resent that uh, our channel's not popular enough to have compilations. Or um, the other one that everyone gets is animated things, where people like um, do a cartoon or something that's happened on the channel. I understand you have to be uh, pretty popular for that bullshit to happen, but it just hurts. It hurts on the inside. I'm kidding, by the way. I wouldn't mind just doing our own if I had the time. I did used to know how to use Flash, actually, but, um, eh. What I really need is a tablet to do the drawing with. And, uh, I think my sister has one. But I'm kind of sick of having to borrow gear all the time. Like, it gets to the point where you're like, geez, if I want to do a cartoon, let's just fucking buy a tablet and get it done. So, I don't know. Maybe that's just wasteful. Maybe that's why I, ne I never have any money, because I'm just blowing it all the time on these silly projects. But you know what? I think it's, sometimes it's worth it. Oh, oh, there's those rocks I'm telling you about. Many times I've driven my car straight into them and killed Tommy Angelo. The last sound he makes is usually a pretty painful sounding. Ah! Right. Break my record. How are we doing? 117. Time to beat 123. Oh, we're not going to make it. Damn it. Really thought I'd nailed it this time. 124. Fuck you. I can never get that set. Oh! Oh! Oh, no. Don't know where we're going with that one, guys. Yeah, no. Got to do my homework. Got to study this thing down to the inch figure out the absolute fastest path around the track come back and show you all how good I am <laughs> no. I mean I don't know I don't, think, I don't think I'm doing too bad whoa <laughs> sorry <laughs> no but having said all that it is much more fun to play it with the wheel actually more fun than, the, than this race level I might show you in a minute is the level where you steal the racing car so that the mechanic can sabotage it. Because you have to go through this epic drive through town and it's just, I don't know, something about using the wheel makes it more fun than I remember it being. Using all the track there. This corner here, like a bat out of hell. Nothing funnier than hearing Meatloaf try and hit that note these days. Like a bat out of hell! Yeah, this is that city driving level I was telling you about. Um, of course, when you're playing the uh, walking around sections, you still have to use the keyboard and the mouse, which is a bit bizarre. You just hunch over the wheel, but um, hang on. Here get in the car, Tommy. Let's see if you get this thing cranking. Wait for that engine to start. Whoa, manual, please. Whoa. Just getting a sense of the engine sound so I can turn it up a bit. I wish you could use this in the actual race level, because I get the feeling it's actually a lot faster. Which is probably the reason that the Mafia want to sabotage it in the first place, obviously. Turn that down a bit. I do have sleeping people in the house. It's so fucking annoying. Starting the Barry Denon 12 Indiegogo for somewhere for Scotty to make these videos where he doesn't have to stop at 11.30 in the evening. Right, first one's a doozy. Slight left into the tunnel. Very nice. Look at that. Yeah, because uh, the wheel does make the race more fun, but I actually think it makes this section more fun too, because uh, these are just nice open roads, no one else on them. And uh, I seem to recall crashing here more often when I tried to use the keyboard, so I'm telling you, this is it. This is my Tommy Angelo with Scotty skin. Trying not to hit any people. I mean, I don't think they damage the car, so that's the challenge here is you have to get the car to the garage without banging it up too much. Oh, that didn't seem to do anything. Whoa, whoa. Look at that. 
taking these corners like a pro. Um, ooh, you know what occurs to me? I don't really know where I'm going. Um, another Barry Dunn 12 challenge. Don't look at the map. We've got a compass. I reckon the compass should help. Right. Taking these corners like a champion. If only I was this good on the racetrack, I'd beat that record in no time. Whoa! What, are you gonna work, bitch? <laughs> what? Shit. I need that Benny Hill music playing. Scotty again. We're gonna go into the tunnel. Whoa, look over that guy. You can really lose traction there because the ground just falls away from you. But look at that. Keeping it straight and narrow. See, it's weird. I feel like the steering is more responsive on these city streets, like the fine adjustments I'm doing. I couldn't really feel them on the racetrack. Where are we going? Oh, yeah, turn. Uh, there's a bridge somewhere. Hang on. Whoop. There's actually a time limit on this, but I've never once run out of time, I don't think. I'm just much too good of a driver. This is the part where you drive past the uh, guy who's going to kill himself. And then when you come back, he's gone. Don't know what that's all about. Um, I guess another reason I was making a video of Mafia 1 is that, um... Years ago I promised you guys that we would do the uh, free ride extreme stuff. And I uh, wasn't able to fulfill that promise because for some reason I couldn't get this thing recording smoothly. But, uh, I mean, it's okay now. It's it's not brilliant. It's not butter smooth, but it's alright. I've recorded some things worse than this. Um, let's see if we can get in the door there. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Too easy. Return the sports car to the garage at the racetrack. I can do that. I can deliver. It doesn't really look like me, does it? I did once, and this was when I was about 17, try to find a modelling program so that I could change the shape of Tommy Angelo's head so that the me skin would look more accurate. Um, but what was the reason? I think you could only look at like the car models and the building models and stuff, and that for some weird reason all the face models didn't work. Yeah. The shit I got up to when I was 16, huh? Oh. <laughs> All right, bit overconfident there. Okay, bit of a bump, but the car seems to be okay. Right, let's get this thing back to the racetrack, and then I can call it a night. So the guy's killed himself, basically. But oh, no, he's still there. That's bizarre. I swear, usually what happens is he's gone when you come back. Ours is not the reason why. Very nice driving, Scotty. What happens if we try and change the camera? Hmm. Okay. See, it's kind of a weird thing, a mental sort of state. Is when I play when I play these games where you drive whoa, with a keyboard and mouse, I kinda need to have it in the external view. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry lady. But if I'm using a steering wheel, I like to be in the cockpit. Um, don't know what that's all about. Oh, actually, I can check here. See, that's weird, because the fine the fine adjustments do work. Look at that. You can do little turns of the wheel, and it does little turns of... But on the racetrack, it feels like it's just going... So I don't know. Weird, guys. Um, I do not remember my way back to the, ra to the race course. Whoa! camera did weird things that disoriented me. Anyway, that's Mafia with the G27, guys. I recommend you try it if you have a wheel. Maybe not even this wheel. Maybe a cheaper one. Because I really blew the bank on it. No. I saved up. I was a good boy. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Give it a go if you can. It's worth it.